This week on OSRL, we start on the tippy top of the roof framing for our pole barn house build. This might get a little tricky. I'm just wondering how you're going to do this. That is a good question. I'm wondering the same thing. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Now if you're new here, my wife and I were building our own house off grid here in the Arizona desert. And if you've been following us for a while, you know I just got done putting in some of the blocking to our rafters. At least I got it almost all done. Uh, a couple things that get in my way are the stairwell to the root cellar and this huge pile of rocks, which I need to take care of ASAP. So that's what I'm gonna be doing now. I'm gonna be basically moving all of these rocks by hand, just throwing them into a wheelbarrow and getting them out of here which is crazy because I did use a tractor to get it all here, which was a lot easier. This is going to be pretty difficult, a lot of hard work, but uh, you know, that's what we do here. <laughs> Just a uh, little determination and a lot of elbow grease. We're moving into some warm, maybe even some hot days. So it's often nice to kind of start projects like this where it's going to be a lot of physical labor, kind of in the evening or in the early morning. That's where you're going to get the most bang for your buck when the uh, the sun's high up in the sky like that here in the desert. So that's what I'm doing right now. So that pile of rocks right now is technically inside of our house. The reason why we put all those rocks there is because Jess was using them to put them on the top of the dome. So I'm going to take those rocks from inside the house and I'll move them to a pile sort of like northwest of the house. They'll be out of our way but not too far where she can't grab them whenever she does need them. All this came from that pile. Wow. Not that. Yeah. <laughs> but like all this. It'll go for snake. Yeah, the snakes are out now. Is it trying to get into that hole? something to show y'all. Hey, I'm very excited about this find. Voila! What do you think, Jess? Um, interesting. It's lockers. Someone in the area was having a yard sale. They were giving us away for 20 bucks. I had to jump on it. I think it'll be incredibly useful for storage and organization. I've been picking up file cabinets all the time, but uh, it's my first uh, first set of lockers. I'm sure there will be more. And we can use some organization around here, I think. <laughs> we could always use some organization, right? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get this out of here. They look heavy. Yeah, it's got some weight to it.
Just taking crew off for his morning hike, making sure he's getting some exercise. Doing pretty well this morning. Good to see. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, now that I got some rocks moved, it is time to move on up in this project. Now, I'm getting started on this a lot later than I would have liked. I'll be honest with you, I had to provide a sample to have tested today, and I'm not gonna go into any details on what the test was or what I had to do. I'm gonna spare you that. Let me just say, it sucks getting older, and you gotta do a lot of unpleasant things. So, I took care of that today and I had to go ship that out and of course then I picked up those lockers which was nice but here we are it's kind of late in the day but that's okay uh, it's a little cooler and perfect time to come out and work on the house so that's what I'm going to do I got to start on the upper part of this roof and I'm still not 100% sure exactly what I'm how I'm going to get uh, work over this area right here above the root cellar steps but i'll figure that out but right now i'm going to work on the easiest section why not it's where the easiest section is right at the beginning and that is working over the earth bag dome door so that's what i'm going to do and that'll help me kind of get an idea of what i need to do going all the way down this line so i'm going to start there i'm going to get the first boards up and That'll give me an idea that, and then, uh, then just kind of go on down the line. Of course, I have to figure out how to get above these root cellar steps. But a neighbor was kind enough to let us use a scaffolding, which I think will be very helpful for some of these other ones. But the scaffolding won't help over these root cellar stairs. So I got to still figure that out. But the rest maybe should be a little bit easier. What are you thinking? I'm just wondering how you're going to do this. That is a good question. I'm wondering the same thing. Mm. But you could see, uh, but do you kind of get an idea of how this upper part's going to work? Yes. It looks like you're making triangles. <laughs> yeah. So this will be the, uh, the base of the uh, upper part of the roof. And I got this marked out over here. I'm just getting my angles worked out. Mm. That's, the, that's the, what I'm trying to do here. Okay. So I, I got it up in place just so I could kind of work out uh, how these boards are gonna get cut. I got a mark over here. I'll show you later. I'll show you later, but I also got a mark over here. And then <laughs> I'll have a board on each side and they'll meet up in the middle. Okay. And then there'll be one long rib that goes um, all the way across. It's crazy. Why are you in your superhero pose? I have to do something about this. Oh, like the birds digging through? Look at it, it's a mess. Are they eating out the plants too? Not really. Yeah. But they're kind of disturbing things. Sorry to see the mess they're making. Jeez. Any ideas? Or not quite yet. I have to put up some 
cages and I was thinking of doing like a border around the beds just keep all the stuff from falling mm. down into mm. the path that makes sense <laughs> I know I know it's never easy right This is an advantage we won't have anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Already got a sort of a built-in scaffolding with this one. Yeah. But that's why I want to kind of work out the details with this first one over here. You want to provide an extra pair of hands? Yeah. Should I get gloves? Or do I not need it? Uh, it's up to you if you'll be touching boards. I got I got splinters to. <laughs> Bird feeding time. Seems a little counterproductive to be chasing away the birds you're trying to feed, isn't it? That's how UV does it. <laughs> She's here for the good stuff. Birds get a treat, she gets a treat. Has the oranges attracted the uh, the type of bird you were looking for? I haven't seen it. I'm trying to feed the Orioles. Yuvia's pretend like she wants an orange. Seems actually repulsed by citrus. Yeah. I didn't realize citrus was a dog repellent.
job. Is that your first time cutting rebar? I think so. Yeah. Wow, I didn't realize you were putting them on this side too. That's looking pretty good. Got the frame of the scaffolding and uh, I brought Jess out here she's gonna help me put this all together as soon as uh, Uvia lets her go there Uvia's keeping her busy <laughs> what do you say Uvi can uh, can I spare mama for a couple of minutes she says no All right, well, many thanks to Jess for helping me get this scaffold frame put together. It does have a top that comes along with this, but it is big and it is heavy, and uh, that'll go on when we actually use it. But for right now, it's assembled and ready to go when we are. So that's, that's excellent. But uh, it looks like a nice, really sturdy frame. Uh, it's got a nice, real sturdy top, so hopefully this will be exactly what we need to get some of these frames up. I think I have a really good start on this frame. There's another addition I want to make and I think the first frame will be complete. So I'm going to get that up.
it's just like going back to school. So a lot going on this week. So I got the, uh, the prototype for the upper part of the roof. That's in there, the little A-frame. I think it's looking real nice. I agree. I always like her opinion. If she likes it, I'm good with it. Got all those rocks moved, which like was just getting in the way. And um, many thanks to our neighbor for the scaffolding. That's going to be a big help as I go down the line. Of course, I'm still going to need something to let me put up the uh, area over the root cellar stairs. That area is always a little tricky, but I'll, I'll figure out something for sure. And then you're making a lot of progress in the garden. Well, that was kind of an unexpected project. Hopefully I can do that quickly, but it'll be some work putting that up. Well, you got a lot done today. And among all the other things I've been doing, doing a little spring cleaning, some organizing, I think that's where those lockers will really come in handy. And it kind of feels like uh, I'm almost back in high school. <laughs> and you're just happy that uh, things are getting cleaned up and organized. Yeah, I just want to get things out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so much has gotten done. Then we just got to get that upper part of the roof situated. That's what the next big thing is. I'm just going to work on down the line. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to give us a thumbs up.